this Blazely Dragon here, and I live under a rock. I don't I don't get out ever. I might go out to the woods in the summertime on occasion, but that's not really getting out. I don't you know I don't watch the news. I don't get the paper, and I don't really talk to people. I've gotten on a couple forums a couple times here and there. I've got like a Druid forum and martial arts forum that I'll get onto every so often, or I get on a lot of game forums and things like that. But you know. I don't really pay attention to what's going on in the world. So I'm kind of a little bit behind on this, but apparently uh, earlier this year, last month or the month before, it obviously has, you know, 322 right now. So um, Fox News had posted this thing, and it was kind of an attack against Wiccans and Pagans. And I just wanted to put forth my opinion and insight. So if anyone else missed that, that... You know, follow me on Facebook. I do have a Facebook public page for those of you who are watching this and passing. If you look on Facebook and Blazely Dragon, you can follow and like. Subscribe to my videos. Thumbs up if you like them, if you like this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, this is only a three minute video, I'm going to play it in the background. I'm going to make comments on parts of it. I just kind of wanted to interject my opinion. I just found it interesting, very narrow-minded, and I just wanted to straighten out a couple things that they mentioned. And of course, there's other videos on YouTube, and you can watch those instead of mine. But for those of you who are entertained by the weird voices I do, and just my general opinion, this is Blazely Dragon's insight and views on it. So the first thing I want to mention before I even start this video, I've got it up in the background. This is actually on YouTube, and it's all over the place. A lot of people, they have a play in the background. They show you video clips, all sorts of things. So it is all over. You can definitely find it. Uh, just, you know, Google or YouTube search for Fox News attacks Wiccans. And I think it's the University of Missouri. So the University of Missouri actually has where they're recognizing other holidays besides for just the Christian ones, which is really freaking cool. Awesome job, University of Missouri. That's cool. And, you know, they've got, I think, Hindus and pagans and... Christians, I think, are the ones that I saw on there. I looked it up. Now, the interesting thing that I found was that you see a lot of times they say Wiccans and Pagans. And the reason I'm kind of confused with the whole Wiccans and Pagans thing is why they're saying Wiccans separately from Pagans. That kind of throws me for a bit of a loop. I don't understand. Why isn't it just pagans or pagan holidays? So the fact that, and, and you see that a lot, not just in this video or some of the video responses and comments, it seems like they keep separating that out. So, okay, whatever. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get started and hear a few of their comments. That was my first thing that I wanted to say about this. Supporting the PC police are at it again because... Uh, there's Wiccans and Pagans out there, right? Probably, I don't know if they make up a large percentage of the population. I do. They don't. They don't. <laughs> Doesn't even pause. He knows. Okay, so the fact that they don't do any research, so all the things that they're butchering coming up here, I find amusing that he, he knows this. Although he probably hasn't done any research, I'd actually be very curious to... Uh, I haven't even tried doing it yet, but looking up the census and seeing how many people put it down. Because I, I know, at least in my area, there's tons. There's tons of people. So, and then again, you know, maybe in just my small neck of the woods, maybe this just seems like there's more than others. I don't know. Uh, maybe there is only a couple hundred thousand for, you know, all I know in the state. So may, maybe it just seems large to me in comparison. But if you compare to how many, I think, I think we're, what, a couple billion in the U.S.? Two billion, three billion, maybe? I don't know. Regard maybe that's in the world. I don't know. There's still at least millions of people. 300 million. That's right. There's 300 million people in the United States. 312, somewhere in there. So, 100,000, 500,000 is, is probably a small number. Oh, no. <laughs> no, they don't. And the there are more Zoroastrians here than there are women. But apparently, maybe at the University of Missouri, they make up such an exorbitant uh, part of their population at the University of Missouri that they need to have all of their holidays now recognized. And they have a ton of holidays. This is the, now the bad side of Wiccan is... Okay, first and foremost, of course, anybody would like to have their holidays recognized. Who wouldn't? I mean, don't, don't you want to have your holiday off to celebrate it? 
I mean, it's, it's obviously a form of witchcraft, but the upside is you get a ton of holidays. 20% of all school holidays, as described by the University of Missouri, are Wiccan holidays. 20% of all. Oh, and this is a... Why is he calling it Wiccanism? It's Wicca. That, that's the, that modern polytheistic faith is referred to as Wicca, the practitioners of which are Wiccans. The bad thing is it includes witchcraft, or it's a form of witchcraft. No, it's not. I actually, I have a video I posted four years ago, Wicca versus witchcraft, and I'm, I'm talking about there's a difference, you know. Witchcraft is the magical practice. Wicca is a modern religion. And yes, a lot of Wiccans practice witchcraft also, but that's not Wicca itself. And I thought it was interesting because uh, I actually had someone ask me a question on Facebook about the difference between the two. So I was looking for videos and I ran across Dragon Feather, I think 362 or something like that. And she had uh, a video of almost the exact same title. It was made three years later. And, and she even addresses some of the same points. And then I stumbled onto her talking about this. And that, that's what caused me to look it up. And then I saw some other individuals who also had posted responses to this. They mentioned the same thing. Okay, witchcraft and witches and Wiccans and Wicca, completely separate. But, you know, just like you can both be a, let's say, a painter and a musician, even though, yeah, they're technically both artists, so witchcraft and Wicca are, are different types of spirituality, they're not the same one, but they complement each other. So, well, it depends on who you talk to. But regardless, not all the witches I know are Wiccans, and not all the Wiccans I know are witches. So that's just very interesting that they, they, they don't realize that, and that's, once again, being put out there on the news. These guys are supposed to be news reporters. A, a statement from the University of Missouri. This is why they say they're doing this. The information about the Wiccan and pagan holidays has been in the guide since last fall. Keep in mind, this is not intended just for faculty. This is an informational guide for anyone across campus. And again, that's from the University of Missouri. I actually looked it up. It was kind of cool that they included, like I said, the, the Sabbats and us Sabbats. And uh, it's interesting. We had Tammy Bruce on the show earlier this morning, and this, she says probably wouldn't happen uh, in any other country. Listen. I'll skip past that I point. think that you this... Can Look anyone up the video I don't want to down Americans I think I think pagans and and I should look the tradition to be pagans and good luck doing that in any country if you're a Christian in the other country right and okay she, 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 just look it up watch the video she was just making points that she feels like pagans are being used for um, some sort of political gain type of video somehow if you're a Christian in this country uh, too that you can't say Merry Christmas to somebody or else you're trying to push your Christian faith on other people whoa wait a minute where's the rule of the law it says you can't say Merry Christmas to other people freedom of speech people say it all the time people still say it yes there is a consensus out that a lot of individuals don't like it and I have heard other, I, I myself am not fond of being said Merry Christmas to, but they have that right to do that. This video has nothing to do with whether or not you can say Merry Christmas. This video is talking about recognizing the fact that these are our holidays and we want them off, which I don't see any problem with. And of course, uh, since I recognize the Wheel of the Year, and I'm not Wiccan and I'm not pagan. Well, I don't consider myself pagan, although I guess technically I would fit in that category, but that's a whole other story. I'm not, I, I'm not Wiccan, and I'm not comfortable with the term pagan. But the interesting thing is, is that she brings this up and makes such a big deal about the fact of you can't, and yes, you can, you can wish people Merry Christmas, and she mentions the fact that it's like pushing the religion on people, and to a certain degree it is, because it seems like the individuals who practice, in my point of view, the reason I have sort of an issue with it is there seems to be the only ones that run around. How many Indians or Hindus have you had run up to you and wish you a happy Diwali? How many Chinese have you had walk up to you and wish you a happy Dongzi? How many pagans have you had walk up to you and, and wish you, you know, a, a blessed Yule? Or, you know, uh, Odinists walk up to you and Yule blot, you know, I mean, or even Jews running up to you and saying happy Hanukkah. You don't hear that from any other religion or faith at least not I haven't, besides for Christians running up and saying Merry Christmas. So people respond with Happy Holidays instead, and they get offended. Yeah, I 
sometimes we'll just ignore it and walk away because I just don't. I mean, I'm fine with them practicing. I'm fine with them saying what they want to say, but I just don't really want to participate, so I just kind of walk away. Right, but you get 20 holidays now if you're... Where did you get 20 holidays from? In the beginning, they said 20%. So if you get 20 holidays, that means there has to be 100 holidays listed on the University of Missouri's website, and there's not. Jeez, these guys can't even do math right, and they're sitting here on the news. They're getting paid for this. Oh, it kills me. This is a reminder of why I don't watch the news. 20 holidays, there's eight of them. There are eight major and eight minor. Wiccan at, I mean, I guess that's the one to go with, right? I mean, that's certainly the one. If you're going to pick one, go the one with the most holidays. Except if you're going to pick one. So now you can't pick your own religion? Any religion whose most sacred day is Halloween... I just can't take seriously. Most sacred day is Halloween. Okay. For those of you who are not polytheistic, which is a term I'm more comfortable with, or pagan, or even Wiccan, uh, those of you who are not, just for reference, we, we, we don't do Halloween. We, the Wheel of the Year doesn't include Halloween. Now, some individuals who do practice be like, yes, it does. Actually, it doesn't. Halloween is on October 31st. Halloween has become, through years of tradition and changing, from what was originally Samhain, and there's other Days of the Dead that are important, it has become Halloween for what most people do, including a lot of Christians, and they dress up and they pass out candy. Samhain is on November 1st. It is at midnight. So... October 31st, in the evening, everyone prepares and starts celebrating, and they usually, not all, but most of them, and this is why we want the day off, most of them will have this big celebration at midnight on November 1st. And if you look at the Wheel of the Year, all of the four major sabbats are on the 1st, including Imbolc, although some people celebrate Imbolc on February 2nd. I, myself, and some others that I've spoken with celebrated on February 1st. Technically, they're seasonal holidays, so they last a week anyway. It just depends on who you talk to. They actually predate even polytheism, what we know of us today. Even a lot of the stuff that we're referring back to, because all polytheism today is just a modernized version. It changes with the years. But even referring back to further than that, re referring back to any of these structured religions, there were still the, the seasonal celebrations and stuff like that that lasted a week. However... If you look at most of the wheels of the year, if you Google it and look online and look up any of the ones that you see, they will all have the major ones on the 1st and the minor ones on the 21st. And all the, uh, besides for, like I said, besides maybe you might see Samhain, say 31st dash, November 1st, and you might see Imbolc, say February 2nd on some of them. But essentially that's around when they are. And it's also interesting because there's 12 months, so you'll have like you know, three months periods, one with a major, one with a minor, one with none, and it rotates all around. And it's, it's, it's actually quite interesting to look up and to see, you know, because in, in January, there's nothing, you know, in February, you have a major one, okay, and then in March, you have a minor, and then you, you have none, and then you have a major, a minor, none, major, minor, none, and that goes all the way around the entire year, which is kind of interesting, just, just for re reference, okay? But there's not 20. <laughs> I mean, I call me a bigot. And I'm not, you know... Bigot! He's a bigot! I don't even know if you could see his face. But yes. Uh, so, yeah, call him a bigot. He asked for it. So he sees that. So he can't take it seriously. He can't take... Uh, I mean, okay. Let's ignore the fact that he doesn't even realize that it's not Halloween, it's Samhain. That, that's our most important day. Uh, all four of the major sabbats are very important days, including Beltane. Beltane and Samhain are the two opposites that are the most important days. One of life, one of death. Samhain, you know, is when we honor our dead, and Beltane is when we honor life. You know, Samhain is when the, the world and the cycle and everything dies to be reborn, and Beltane is when it's at its fullest of life. So I just think that's interesting. He can't take it seriously. I'm not criticizing Christianity here because I truly believe you need to follow or believe what you want to believe. But I will say as far as Christianity is concerned, this individual is obviously, I believe, I'm fairly certain is some form of Christian just 
for the simple fact of how Fox News has been depicted as being very Christian and conservative for the most part. Now, I could be wrong, maybe he's not Christian, but that's the assumption I'm making. He can't take it seriously for Halloween, but he is following these holidays, and his most important holiday, I'm assuming, is most likely Christmas or Easter. And Christmas has not only been moved just to accommodate the fact that most people were polytheistic and did Yule, which is a minor sabbat, but it is supposed to be the day that this guy was born, who's our savior, who was dead and is raised from the dead. So it is practical for a guy to die and to come back to life and his body to disappear and we just accept him for saving our sins, which, like I said, I'm not criticizing, but I'm just saying that this, the Christian mythology is just as far fest of as any mythology in any religion. That's just religion. You, you take it on faith. You believe it in your depths of your soul. So if you look at any of the mythology from the Bible, all of that is acceptable, but Halloween is not, which he's not even getting the name right and probably knows nothing about it. Just saying, I just thought that was kind of interesting. No, not offering an editorial against Wiccanism. Well, that would be more the pagan side, right? Would be would be Halloween. Many... The pagan side of it. Once again, Wicca is a form of paganism. How is there the separation there? Many Wiccans can name every Wiccan holiday. <laughs> Everyone that I have ever met, seriously, every single one of any Wiccan I've met can name all eight, at least all four. They had at the very least named to you, you know, Samhain, Imbolc, Beltane, and Lunasta. Every single one of them, although Lunasta or Lunasan, there's arguments on how it's pronounced. And I've heard some people refer to Samhain as Samhain. And then, of course, there are debates on the solstices and the equinoxes. Some people, you know, will throw in Maybon or Ostra or Yule or, or Midsummer. You know, they'll, they'll throw in one or they'll throw in the other. And there'll be debates on what they want to call it. But essentially... All of them know all eight. Just like most Christians can name their Christmas and Easter and some of the national ones like Thanksgiving and Father's Day and Mother's Day. If you do something and you do it regularly, you're going to know it. He obviously doesn't, and that's what kills me about this. Is it's just like, you know, how many of them can? Almost all of them. That's how many. Even some that don't practice it. Anyone who recognizes the Wheel of the Year, be they Druid or Wiccan or, you know, be they a witch or an Odinist or... Just an a, a satirist, or, yeah, I don't know the particular term there, so I'm throwing that out. But I'm telling you I don't know, versus him who's calling it Wiccanism. So, yeah. Or 50% of Wiccan holidays. I don't know, single Wiccan. I will say this, because, you know, we're journalists, and I, and I have covered this. I... They're journalists. This is what passes for a journalist today. Actually went, because there was some backlash a number of years ago against Wiccans. And I remember I had to do a story, and I went and interviewed a number of Wiccans. And they say, look, we are the most peaceful individuals. We just, we don't practice crazy things. We just of the earth. We believe in... I think that's right. Earth. Every Wiccan I've ever known is either a compulsive deep Dungeons and Dragons player or is a middle-aged, twice-divorced older woman living in a rural area who works as a midwife. And... So the fact that they're saying middle-aged woman, so there, so apparently he only knows women, considering that I know a lot of male Wiccans as well. And it's also interesting because what does D&D have to do with your religious choice? I play Dungeons & Dragons. absolutely love Dungeons & Dragons, be it the pen and paper version, the online version, PC, computer versions. It's a great game. But I play with just as many, actually probably more Christians than anything else, just as many Christians or monotheists or you know, or Jews, or, or Hindus, or, or Buddhists, or da I mean, there's tons of people on there. I mean, you know, the, what does playing D&D &D have to do with it? Oh my goodness, it's just weird that he th throws that out like there's such hypocritical bullshit. And then the whole midwifery thing, and twice divorce. What, once again, I, this is not coincide with, oh, you're wicked, you're going to be divorced twice, and... Be a I just, wow, and the guy throws an incense here in a second. And likes a lot of incense. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's right. Let us know how, if you've met any Wiccans out there, let us know. Uh, friends at foxnews.com. So, yeah, they don't take it seriously. They're laughing about it the entire time. I, I, I had not even known this existed until recently. Like I said, I had stumbled across it on YouTube 
and I was just very disappointed in the fact that... I mean, apparently he apologized somewhere. I didn't even look up the apology thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fox News apologizes for attack on Wicca. Yeah, so they did apologize. This is a big cause. And I, I think I had joined it too. and Joined the cause because I just, I don't think that's right to bash any religion like that. N not everybody's going to agree on it or have the same opinion, which is fine. I mean, if you're not practicing it, just leave people alone if they're not bothering you. You know, they're not doing anything against you. Uh, it was a very small article when they were apologizing it to it. <laughs> they even said on here that they're rep repeatedly referring to Wicca as Wiccanism and suddenly jumped from a figure of 20% to 20 holidays and D&D &D reference. Let's see. I don't remember where the apology is, but I, th I think they did apologize, but he said something along the lines as Wiccans have never done anything to him and he should have just left them alone, which if that was the apology, it's not a very nice apology, but I mean, ultimately, it's freedom of speech, they can say whatever they want, it's just, you would assume there would be a certain degree of professionalism when you're up in the public eye, I know people throw hissy fits all the time, you know, about wanting to be professional and stuff like that, you know, I work as a system tester, and they're very cool with me having long hair and a beard, and I and shaved off right now, but, you know, they've never really given me any crap about it, you know, I shower and wash it and keep it clean and pull it back in a ponytail at work and stuff, but they've never given me any crud about it. But I've had past jobs where there has been some complaints about it, or I've actually passed up jobs because I have long hair. Because just there's a certain type of presentation. So to be a prejudiced, narrow-minded bigot like that on national television, there's, I just, I don't know. I guess it's okay to, sh it's, it's fine to share your opinion. It's just obviously you're going to offend people. I just, Wow. Once again, I don't watch the news very often, and I'm reminded of why. And this was only one incident, but I'm sure there's tons of incidences out there, and it's just the fact that no research was done, and, and just, just nothing. I mean, if you just look at any of the mythology of any of the religions out there, and they get pretty extreme. I remember hearing about the story in Hinduism talking about uh, Ganesh, or Ganesh, depending on how you want to pronounce it, and they were talking about why he has an elephant head. And, and it, it was just a story about him being created to watch over um, Sarasvate, I think it was, and when Shiva came home and saw him, he cut his head off, and she came out saying, that was my son, how could you cut off his head? So he brought him back to life, putting on the head of an elephant, or something along those lines. It was very close to the story I heard, and of course, it's, you know, trans a translated version that this Hindu was telling me. But it was a very interesting story, but it's very, very, you know, out there. And people, you know, you don't, even if you don't agree with it or believe in it or necessarily follow it, to criticize it and to just not, not put forth any effort to say things correctly, it's just fascinating, fascinating and bewildering to me that there's people like this out there. So I posted a video too, because I'm not a really fan of Wicca. I never have, you know, I just, I don't like Wicca. I, I, some of the Wiccans I've met, I, I can't stand, but... I'm not going to be an ass to them. I'm not going to be an ass about the religion itself. Just because I don't like it, I just won't follow it myself. I, I've made many videos on it because there's a lot of confusions and a lot of people are interested in it because it's a very big topic. But I just have some respect for your fellow human beings for crying out loud. Stop being a jerk. So 25 minutes. Thanks for watching this Blazely Dragon. That was just kind of...